Hello everybody, good morning. So today I am going to walk you through my full everyday makeup routine. I don't know why I said it like that. It's very easy. It's very simple. I know I do a lot of like everyday makeup looks, but I wanted to show you guys like what I actually use on an everyday basis. And I've been getting some questions about it. So that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. I don't think any of these products are going to be like new to you guys that you've never seen me use before, but I just wanted to walk you through a very, very realistic makeup routine that literally takes me like five minutes. For primer, I normally go in with the Tatcha or the Hylamide. So I'm gonna use this today because I just have this close by. This is fantastic and also really affordable. Um, it's really great for hydrating your skin because it is made with hyaluronic acid, but it also fills in like pores or any fine lines uh, without being drying. So I absolutely love this primer. And I really press this into the T-zone first and then anything that's like left over, I'll just kind of put on the remainder of the face, get under the eyes. For an everyday concealer, I pretty much rotate between the Glossier or the RMS. I think the RMS is a better color match for me right now. So I will go in with this one. These are just like lighter coverage, very hydrating concealers, which I like. I don't like my under eyes to feel dry or dehydrated. So I love something that's a little bit more emollient around the eyes. And I like to use this little Japanese brush and just place this under my eyes. Get a little bit on top too. Then I'll just kind of take a little bit wherever else I need it. I picked a little bit yesterday. Should not have done that, but here we are. So I do like to initially apply it with a brush, but then I will go in with my finger to blend just really gently because these concealers really blend in nicely with the warmth of your fingers. Then once I feel like the product is blended in, I'll just kind of go right around the edges to make sure that those are all blended. I don't wanna pull away from any of the coverage we have under the eyes, but I do just wanna make sure that it is all seamlessly blended because we're not going to be using any foundation today. I do like to quickly set the under eyes, especially because this is such an emollient concealer. So I have been really liking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. It's a very fine powder. It's not flat. I feel like I have like a hair. I mean, it's not like shimmery, but it definitely does add a bit of a like radiance. If you've used the Soft Light Blurring Powder by Becca, I do find it to be similar, but this one is actually not as drying. I feel like if I use the Becca one under my eyes, it definitely makes them feel a little bit dry. So I do like this one even more and it's a lot less expensive. You can take whatever is left over on the brush and just kind of place this in the T-zone. I forgot to put this on first, but this is this is a honey lip balm that I've really been liking. It's thick, but I really like it. It's not sticky or anything. It's really nice and hydrating. So I've mainly been wearing this on my lips. I'm not a big lip product person, and especially in the winter when my lips get really dry, I just feel like it looks worse when I put uh, lipstick or anything on. So I've been ditching bronzer recently and going for a blush that I can use kind of as like a bronzer blush situation so i'm gonna go in with the um milani bellissimo bl what milani bellissimo bronze blush um also some other shades like blush tends to change every day but i go for like a similar tone or look um i also really love in the nude by nude sticks that's a great shade for every day um my glossier cloud paints so like i kind of just rotate all of those and then I also like to take a little bit of my blush in the um, outer corner of my eye just to kind of like tie everything in and then I'll go over that with my powder brush and blend that all out like I said I am gonna go in with a little bit of a highlight this is the RMS uh, luminizing powder it is very um, it's very natural but it still has a nice sheen to it. And I usually just take this up here, down here, and then right under the brow. And this is a Morphe M10 brush. I don't really love this brush, but I actually like 
the other Morphe brush better. I should have grabbed that, but this is the M501. It's softer. This one's like a little spiky feeling, but I mean, it gets the job done. All right, we're gonna give everything another blend. That is like my biggest thing. I blend in between like every step of my makeup. For brows, I really just use my brow soap. This I got from Amazon and it works great. I just spray my spoolie. This is really the only thing that will hold my brows like all day. And I make sure, first I brush up and then I make sure the underneath is like flat and then I'll kind of finesse the ends a little bit. I know my brow look isn't for everyone, but I uh, I love a bold, bushy brow. For a while, my daily makeup routine did not include mascara, but now it does. And I love the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, and this is my Kevin Aquan Lash Curler. I've made this comparison before, but this reminds me a lot of the Glossier Mascara. I do like this wand a lot because it has multiple kinds of bristles. So you can really grab every lash. I don't have really long or curly or like thick lashes or anything. So they're just like very blah, but I do like how this separates my lashes and it does hold a curl pretty well. The last thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of this e.l.f. sheer tint finishing powder. This is incredibly light and undetectable, but I do just like to put a little bit more of this where I get oily. All right, guys, so that is it. That is everything I do for an everyday makeup routine. It's very natural, just enhances your features. I can get this done in like under five minutes in the morning. It really is super quick and easy and it just makes me feel a lot better. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We're getting really close to Christmas. Do you celebrate? Did you guys finish your shopping? I didn't. I didn't even start wrapping anything yet. So that's cool. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas.